Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Friday, October 20th, 2017, and I want to talk a little about insect biomass. Back in May, I read an article about the windshield effect, and the <laughs> paper has been published now documenting the trend. So let me, let me start with the windshield effect. So when I was a kid, I remember seeing a whole lot of bugs plastered on the windshield when you drove down the freeway. I remember my grandfather telling that old joke, what's the last thing that goes through a bug's mind when he hits the windshield? His butt. And I thought that was really funny because our windshield was plastered with bugs. These days I can drive across the state of Washington and barely have to squeegee when I get to the other side. And that's in the height of summer. It just wasn't the case before. Hey, sample size n equals one. That's not enough to identify a trend. Do I really believe this? Well, enough people have documented this now that it seemed to be a bit of a mystery. Where are the bugs going? And this was published in a couple of outlets, uh, Science News, for instance, uh, Science Magazine covered it. And yeah, it's worrying the insect community and they don't have a great answer. And there were some rumors or some um, preliminary data, I should say, that traps, insect traps were coming up low, that there seemed to be an overall decrease in the number of bugs alive at large. And indeed the paper came out in PLOS One here this month, describing that the traps that have been set since the 80s are catching 80% fewer bugs than they were when the experiment started. An 80% decline in the total number of insects, total mass of insects caught at any given insect trap. And these insect traps weren't placed in urban areas or next to farms where people might be playing, spraying insecticides. These, these were traps placed in protected parks, essentially, in Germany. And the problem seems to be worldwide. So four fifths of the bugs are gone. And the PLOS One paper tries to come up with some model, some common factor across all the data that might explain the trend. And they do all the obvious things, you know, the plant diversity, plant density, uh, the temperature, the everything they could think of and everything they could think of accounted for not even half of the variability. So now there's a huge mystery about explaining this 80% loss of insect biomass. And you know, nobody mourns the disappearance of, of the uh, house fly or the mosquito, except all the creatures who eat them. So, if you're losing a lot of insects, they're at the bottom of the food chain, and that's a that's an issue. So yeah, that was a scary thing to read today. So I thought I'd share that with you. Sorry for the depressing news. That's just that's just something mysterious, and I'll I'll be looking in on that. The battery uh, did not show great results today. I believe it's too alkaline for a proton exchange membrane. That's obvious in retrospect, but we will try going down in pH and see what that does next time. So if you want to hear more about iron batteries, science news, and uh, modestly alarming trends in insect populations, I guess, tune in Monday through Friday. We talk about that kind of stuff and more right here in the Allen Lab.